So hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is a vanity tour. Um, I'm going to be going over some organization, the acrylic stories that I have, and possibly even some of the brushes that I have. And um, I think that's it. Um, pretty much my vanity isn't as organized as I would want it to be, so I'm definitely working on it. But a lot of you guys asked me to do this. I'm part of a makeup group on Facebook and even on my own personal page. You guys have asked me to do a tour, so I'm going to go ahead and do that tour today. If I miss on anything, feel free to ask me the questions down below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. And um, I think that's it. We can go ahead and move. Oh, I know you guys are going to ask because you guys, it never fails you guys ask me. Um, the dress that I'm wearing is, is from Forever 21. So here is the vanity, you guys. Unfortunately, this is a custom-built vanity, so you cannot find it in the store okay i do have a full length video up of the wallpaper it is new wallpaper that i purchased from home depot the mirror i purchased from home goods and the light fixture over the vanity i purchased from Lowe's. there's a million videos over the internet you can find <laughs> So the flower in the ant sign is something that I purchased from TJ Maxx. The flower was about $20 and the sign was either $7 or $8.99, but I absolutely love it. It's just the perfect girly touch. So I did contact a company very close to where I live to cut glass for the type of the vanity just to protect it. So in this first drawer, I pretty much put everything that I need for my everyday use in here. So um, lip liners, concealers, everything, and definitely you cannot do without an Ing Lot Gel Liner. Opening up the middle drawer, nothing special about this drawer at all. I just keep random knickknacks and stuff inside. The only thing special about this drawer has to be the antique comb and brush. That's about it. So moving on to the other side, as you can see, the very first thing popping is my ibuprofen. I get such bad headaches, but brow pencils, the sleek, and all that stuff in there. Just my everyday use, okay? The bottom drawers, I have all my curling tunes, blow dryers, um, curly irons, my um, all my curling stuff is in that top drawer. Pretty much if it curls and hot, it's in there. <laughs> The next one is like my knickknacks, candles, pens, air fresheners, nail polish remover, anything that I don't use on the regular. In the very last drawer, I keep all my combs, my brushes, needle and thread, and things of that nature in that one. Now, this is the part that you guys are really interested in. This caddy was purchased from TJ Maxx. It keeps all my facial stuff inside of it. That's the Derma E, the charcoal mask, which I use. I'm going to be doing a video on that very soon and behind there I have all my brushes now the caddy does have three compartments in the back that is my detail brush and the other two are just my everyday brushes so in the next compartment the bottom drawer I have all my concealers and my elf brush cleaner the next one I have all my foundations I have everything from Lancome to Mac in this drawer in the next drawer, I have all my face primers. Now, there's Lancome, there's Shashka, and I also have MAC. And um, pretty much, I love all of them. I use them. I love them. This one right here is my eyelash drawer. Now, you guys have to try that Tarte. That is really, really nice. So in this one, I have my alcohol and also some little, um, the trays when I'm applying my foundation. And of course, beauty blenders. Here we go again, MAC blushes. And I have um, highlighters in that one. Fashion Fair, I have blushes and foundation and some eyeshadows. I will be trying out the um, foundation for you guys so you can see how that works. The next compartment, all my setting, I have everything from Lancome, Ben Nye, and also Shashka. Those are all my eye pencils, all my lip pencils, and then those right there are all my lippies. I don't have a whole lot, but I feel like it's enough. So this right here is the Star Beauty Lipstick Tree. Pretty much everybody has one of these by now. 
<laughs> but I do want to share what I recently added into this lo- the lot of lipsticks that I have. And it is called 1108 Cosmetics. The owner of the company is someone that I met on Facebook. And I absolutely love these lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch them for you guys. The very first color that I'm swatching is called Plum Royale, which I love it. You see, just went on so effortlessly. The next color that I'm going to swatch is Boysenberry. You guys, I mean, it's super soft and sleeky. And look at the pigmentation on this. Love it. So now this is the Fashion Fair Foundation and Concealer Stick in One. Now I'm blending this out on my arm. Just imagine what it's going to do when it's on your face. I absolutely love this. Now I cannot do without this product right here. And you guys, if you don't have it, we're not going to go get it. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, honey. The last acrylic storage. So you guys, I got this one from the treasure box on Instagram. I absolutely love it. It's so big. It fits all my stuff. In this compartment, I have my Tarte palette, which is kind of like my go-to palette. I have this It Cosmetics. I used it once. And lastly, Anastasia. Who doesn't have that palette now? Come on. And Kat Von D, which was my birthday present. In this compartment here, I have my MAC blushes and, of course, Anastasia Contour. And here is my Tarte in Urban Decay. I do have all the Tarte palettes. <laughs> uh, forgive me. I just, I love the packaging. Um, You guys, quick question, though. I have the Tarte Lit in Bloom, and when I smelled it, it smelled really sweet. But you guys can tell me if I'm bugging or if it does have a nice smell to it, because mine does. Too Faced, Too Faced. Yes, you guys, I own at least six of the Too Faced liquid lippies. And mm, can I say, it is definitely worth the buy. Yes, it's still in this packaging because I'm a little OCD. I like my stuff nice and neat. Uh, so that's my Too Faced drawer right there. And of course, my Naked drawer and my Beauty book. And here is my Ikea Alex. I went on ahead and went to Target and purchased these labels to put on there so I would know what was inside of each drawing unit. So in the first drawer, I put um, applications. So everything that I use for application is inside this drawer. And um, on the side here, those are the nice and clean. They're just wipes to clean off my either my sunglasses or my camera. They're really, really good. I think everyone should have those. So the next drawer is my beauty drawer. Those are all my brushes that I don't use or I might have had extras of that I just put away. All right. And then, of course, I have my lashes in there. They're still not organized, but it's going to get there. That one is empty. And then I have my nail polishes in this one right here. Um, everything from, I even have gel polish um, right there is one. That one I got from um, Madame Glam. And also, I have the UV light for the polish. Now, this one right here is the facial drawer. Everything that I use for my face from the wipes to the sponges is inside that drawer. So, this is the finished setup, you guys. I don't know if it's going to change, but for right now, absolutely loving it. I want to give a huge thank you to another YouTuber called Living Luxuriously for Less. I will link her channel down below. She showed me how to do these voiceovers, so I'm so excited about that. The next YouTuber that I would like to thank is At Home with Nikki. After watching her video on beauty organization, she had the Target labels on the Alex, and I just knew that that would help me out so much. So I will link both of these ladies' channel down in the description bar, so you guys feel free to check them out. Don't forget, like, share, and definitely subscribe.